Neutron has just been added to the NASA VADR contract. Let me explain. So guys, you know me as the largest channel dominating the electric vertical takeoff and landing space. And this has been recognised by Archer Aviation for covering them seven days a week. But together, we're going to grow into this rocket lab space also. This is one of our biggest projects yet. So make sure you bang that subscribe button. As over the next week, I'm going to answer 20 of the biggest rocket lab questions by investors in only three minutes each. We will be one of the largest channels when it comes to Rocket Lab. I guarantee you that. Anyway, let's get back to this question. Let me explain the Neutron NASA deal. Rocket Lab have just announced a pivotal expansion with its partnership with NASA. Rocket Lab revealed that the new medium lift reusable rocket Neutron has been integrated into NASA's Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare Contract, or VADR. This agreement marks a significant step forward for Rocket Lab leveraging its established reputation with Electron to now offer a broader spectrum of launch service through Neutron. Neutron's inclusion in the VADA contract underscores its versatility, enabling Rocket Lab to facilitate a variety of missions across different orbits, from CubeSats to Class D missions and other significant payloads. The Neutron rocket is engineered to carry up to 13,000 kilos to low Earth orbit, presenting a new tool for both commercial and government clients looking for reliable and cost-effective launch options. This move not only broadens the scope for Rocket Lab's service offerings, but also aligns with NASA's objectives to enhance access to space for science and technology payloads through commercial practices. Rocket Lab has already proven its capability with the Electron on the Nevada program, having executed rapid back-to-back -back launches for their missions like the Pre-Fire and Tropics, demonstrating their efficiency and reliability. With Neutron, Rocket Lab aims to extend its reliability and efficiency into the medium lift category, offering an alternative to existing providers while catering to the needs of the plane's satellite constellations, national security missions, and exploration payloads. The announcement was met with enthusiasm from Rocket Lab's founder and CEO Peter Beck, who expressed that Neutron embodies the company's commitment to providing choice and value in the launch industry. Peter said Neutron brings choice and value to the launch industry and is an ideal rocket to support NASA's goals with VADA to provide new opportunities for science and technology payloads through commercial best practice. This highlights the synergy between Rocket Lab's capabilities and NASA's mission objectives. This contract also builds on Rocket Lab's previous achievements, like its on-ramp to the United States Space Force OSP-4 program and its strategic positioning for the National Security Space Launch Lane 1 program. These contracts signify trust in Neutron's capabilities not just for NASA's scientific endeavours, but also for critical national security operations. The development of Neutron continues at a brisk pace, with significant advancements in production, infrastructure and component testing across Rocket Lab's facilities in the United States. The rocket's launch site at Wallops Island, Virginia is nearing completion, setting the stage for Neutron's debut from Launch Complex 3 in around mid-25. I think they will make it. This timeline positions Neutron to quickly become operational potentially influencing the competitive landscape of space launches with a focus on reusability, flexibility and cost effectiveness. Will we get a successful landing on the first launch? Let me know below. Then, meet me here next if you want to see more 2025 targets and if you want to have a quick review of the 2024 milestones.